Hi, this is going to be a, a how-to video on how a top of mass three position semaphore works and also how that DW wigwag over there works as long as my battery holds out. So at any rate, controller up here. Oops. Here it is in the clear position. And I'm doing this primarily for my friend John who's wiring up one of these so that he can uh, fix one of his semaphores. So here you see the blade straight up. Here it's going to drop down. Now here it is in the red position, the stop. I hope that, that this helps John in figuring his out. Now I'll put it to the yellow. You see those moved a little bit there? We'll go back to... That's red. yellow. <clears throat> Here's red. That's yellow. There's red. Red. Yellow, it's yellow, go back to red. Yellow, and we'll go to green. Green. That's yellow. That's green. It's back to yellow. That's green. Now we'll drop the whole thing to red. And it's got all these neat gears in it also. That's good. That's yellow. There's green, and we'll show the motor through all three and how the whole coil works. We'll go to yellow. Go to green. Back to yellow. Back to green. I'll go all the way to red. Yellow. Green. Back to yellow. Back to green. I mean, 
That of course is back to red. Now we're going to run it through straight up to green. And we'll go back all the way straight to green. Go back to red. Go all the way to green. And John, I hope this helped you. Show the gears here as it crashes. First, we'll stop it down to yellow. Now we'll let it go to red. <clears throat> okay, now we're going to go do the DW. As you can see, the banner is now parked up inside the housing here. So right now it's got power to it, and the power is holding this coil in right here, and it's locking this in, so it's got a grip on the on the mechanism here, right in there, and that's keeping the uh, this rod pushed out, which keeps the banner hidden inside there. So then when you drop that, as long as there's power to the wigwag, it just starts swinging. So when it loses power completely, darn it, when it loses power completely, then the banner just hangs down straight. And then when it's got power, it parks the banner unless the train's coming, then it releases this coil. So we'll go through that a few times. And then the bell is just up there. We'll keep that off. So right now we're going to turn it on. And now we're going to turn it off, and you'll see this coil here is going to shut the whole thing off. There we go. And then it locks it in there. And back on again. And then there's a switch right here, and that cuts the power off up here to the uh, magnets. So we'll do a little bit at a time. I'm going to energize this coil. It's going to push this over. It breaks that contact so it shuts the power off. And this little dog right in here is going to grab that. So we'll show different, a few different ways. First just the coil working. And it's shut that switch off there, and then when it drops, it'll put the power back on. And now we'll show the dog grabbing it. I hope that showed it. And now it's got it locked inside here. I'll show that release.
And then in the event that it loses power, right now we'd be like in the off position with no train coming. And if the signal were to lose power, then the banner will drop. And then when it gains power again, it, it'll uh, reset the banner. And the banner just basically hangs right here. And I guess you were supposed to have enough sense to see if it was hanging down that there might be a train coming. So right now the power is off to the signal as if it was totally dead. And now we'll energize the signal, but we're going to energize it in the uh, clear position so that it, it'll repark itself automatically, which is kind of a neat feature. There we go. It's got itself parked in there again. Now we'll just run it. There it is. John, I hope I helped you on that semaphore over there. Um, if not, give me a call and I'll, I'll shoot another video of it. Alrighty. Now we'll just shut the power off and it'll just go to sleep and hang down.